First, here's meteorologist Elisa Rafa with a quick check on your weather forecast. Elisa. Thanks, guys. We had some bitter record cold this morning. We got to a temperature of 21 degrees below zero. That was a record broken from 99 years ago, and we're on track for the coldest February. I'll have all those details plus a look at your seven-day forecast coming up next. But first, we got to take a look at sports with Matt Rahemba. Matt? Welcome back. We're now joined by meteorologist Elisa Rafa. So Elisa, I heard a little rumor that we broke a little record this morning. Yeah, it was a big one, a 99-year-old record. This morning was the coldest morning in 36,000 days. Wow. Can you even imagine? Let's take a look at these temperatures that we saw from this morning. It was 21 degrees below zero this morning. That's an air temperature, not a wind chill. It was incredibly cold this morning and again 99 years worth of records and we broke it so incredible cold we had this morning and it's not just this morning it's this entire month of February we are right now the second coldest February ever in, in Ithaca the average temperature is only 11.7 degrees normal should be about 25 now we're only falling second to the February of 17, uh, 1979, their uh, average temperature was 11.3. So if we compare these two Februarys, keeping in mind that we're not done with our February yet, we have only had two days above 32 degrees. All of our high temperatures are in the 20s and in the teens. They had seven days above 32 in 1979. Now we'll have overnight temperatures that were below zero. We've had 11 of them. And now keep in mind, we're not done with February yet. They had 13 in 1979, and I have at least two days forecasted for below zero overnight lows. So we should get closer, if not break that, by the end of the month too. Our coldest high temperature was one, which still isn't that bad compared to what they had then. It was minus four. Still, warmest temperature we've seen all month is 38 degrees. So if we keep on this really cold track, we have a good shot at breaking that record and get into the number one uh, coldest month for February. So stay tuned. I'll keep you uh, updated on that as we get towards the end of the month. Right now, it, it is cold. It is cold and cloudy, breezy at 15 degrees. And as I mentioned, it was pretty cold all day. We stayed in the pretty much in the teens. We had one spot at 22 in Ithaca today. And we're not alone. Our neighbors in the Midwest are also feeling those frigid temperatures. And we'll have another shot of that colder air coming in from Canada on Thursday. So tomorrow will actually be a not so bad day, even though we still won't reach 20. Before we get there, we have some snow to get through tonight. We'll have some snow showers overnight. Uh, by tomorrow morning, we should have about a dusting on the ground. Nothing you'll need to shovel, but it could create some slick spots on the roads by 7 a.m., maybe some leftover flurries, but it shouldn't be that big of a deal. By lunchtime, you know, we'll have some gradual clearing, definitely drier, and by the evening commute, we may even see some sunshine. Our lake response may happen in the evening for areas north of Syracuse if you're planning on headed up there tomorrow night. Now again, I said the temperatures are going to start tumbling again. Tomorrow, Wednesday, uh, 17 will be the good day. We'll start tumbling again on Thursday with a high of only 11. So tonight, 10 degrees feels like zero. We'll have some of those uh, snow showers. We'll get a dusting by the morning. Morning, we'll have temperature of 12 degrees, bitter cold, some light flurries left behind. And then by your afternoon, we'll have some grad gradual clearing with a temperature that fights for 20 at only 17. Look at this seven day, we'd see that late sunshine tomorrow turning colder on Thursday. Again, keep an eye, these are our uh, negative um, overnight lows, so we could break that from 1979 too, having more days than, de than them. Uh, flurries continue throughout the week. We could see temperatures closer to 30 by the weekend, but still below 32, so very cold end to February that's going to really help us stay on track to break that record. All right, Elisa, thank you for that very sunny but very frigid <laughs> forecast. Sorry. <laughs> Thanks again. Now, when we come back, we'll have Matt Rahemba at the desk for our latest sports updates. Stay with us.